guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a different video for me because I never really do this kind of video. I'm going to do a comparison between the CoverGirl and the Max Factor primer. I would have like filmed the difference from the primers but the little bit that I had left in the Max Factor primer dried up on me so I can't use that anymore. It's not really <laughs> usable anymore so I can't compare them physically but I do have a good knowledge about how this primer is and how it works because I have finished two bottles of this and because I am going cruelty free I can't buy this anymore because Max Factor is not cruelty free. <laughs> I have talked a lot about this primer on my channel and I was so sad that I finished it up and I couldn't buy it again because this is my favorite primer of all time. I don't remember when it was but Rebecca from More Rebe uh, Rebecca Morgan, she wanted to send me the dupe or the same thing from CoverGirl to me and it is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer and Base and this should be a dupe or at least something similar the short version is it's the same thing <laughs> okay I'm really excited about this but something that is not very exciting is I can't get this in Denmark. So it's not really a win-win. Okay, if there should be a win-win, that would be the cover girl is cool to free and I can get this. I can buy this for my own, own money. But <laughs> the downside to have found an available and cool to free dupe for the Max Factor Primer, it is that it is only sold in the US or at least in the America. I can't get this in Denmark or Europe, so that doesn't matter. But I'm really, really excited about this being the same thing. So let me talk a little bit about the primer itself. Other than that, it is amazing, both of them, and that they are the same. What I like in a primer is that it is like a creamy gel kind of texture, but it's not going to, you, you can't feel it on your skin. You, yeah, when you touch you can feel it, but when you have it on your skin you can't feel it. Does that make sense? Um, so I don't like a silicone primer at all. I have combination to oily skin and that means oftentimes you are going to be recommended a silicone primer because that makes your makeup last longer. That is not the case for me. I hate silicone primers. Like with a passion. I... I mm. No, thank you. <laughs> when I have applied anything with my hands, I'm going to dry them off, wash them, anything. I can't, I can't stand that. This is okay on my hands because it's not silicone -y, Because the silicone based primers, they leave like a film on your skin and on your hands when... Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> this is not a silicone based primer, which is amazing because then it is the creaminess that I like but it's not creamy in that sense that it is like a moisturizer you know a day cream or something it is a little bit more runny so it's like a cream to gel consistency kind of I will try to show you because it is a little bit more liquidy is that a word I hope so as you saw it is a little bit more runny it is coming out right, but it's going to be transparent. Maybe this is a review. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't do these often, but as you can see, it's just, yeah, it's, it's like a cream. And yes, it gives a shine, but it's not like a film, like a silicone primer. So the claims on these two primers are that they are all day primer, which is true, and they both extends the wear of foundation or just makeup wear extender and that is completely true. My makeup is looking flawless by the end of the day. Most primers on me they don't wear off but my foundation if I wear that they clumps up and cakey and wears off here with my nose. With these primers they don't and that is amazing for me that have can be oily skin because when you are oily the makeup can break up basically if you have worn your foundation for like 12 hours yes they cake up that is natural but with 
with these it may extend the wear time. Another thing that with primers for me is that it is mostly the primer or the foundation that breaks me out. I have so much bad luck with primers that they always break me out. These don't. And that is a huge deal for me, for anyone basically. I don't think you want your skin to break out because then your skin is bumpy and it some foundation really don't cover well over pimples and stuff like that. These are amazing. They don't fill in your pores. They don't clog your pores. Is it called that? <laughs> clog your pores and they're just really, really amazing. So before I say they are amazing one more time, I'm going to end this video and say if you really want to try the Max Factor Primer and you can get the CoverGirl one, do it. So yeah, I, I don't think you can get this in Denmark anymore. I think they are going to discontinue this face finity line and do something else. I'm re not really sure. I don't really know what to do after I have finished this because I can't get it again. Unless there are some sweet souls out there that want to give it to me. <laughs> I don't really want to ask for that. I can pay you. I can pay you. I want to pay you if you want to buy this for me. But if you have any um, primary recommendations that is like this and is the same as I described in this video, please let me know down in the comments because I am really wanting to try or find something that I can get here in, in Europe that is like this. Because this does, it's just sad that you can't get any kind of makeup everywhere. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, subscribe down below. If you are new here, I would love for you to join my small family here on YouTube. I ramble a lot about clothing, lifestyle, decor, makeup, at least. I'm a, I'm, I'm a project planner, so I use up my makeup um, before I buy hugely amount. <laughs> I don't buy a lot. Let's say it like that. So yeah, I do a lot of project pairs on my channel and I really, really enjoy them. I do palette bingos as well. But if you have any other video ideas for me that I haven't done in a while, please let me know down in the comments. And if you have any primer recommendations that are not silicone based, please let me know and I will try it. Make sure I can get it in the EU. That would be nice. That is kind of everything for this video. So until my next video, please have a good one.